Hey guys and welcome back. So I added a few extra things to this little tree generator. As you can see now, we have a deeper draw of the axis here. And I used that for determining which uh, direction each of these branches were facing because I frankly got kind of lost in it sometimes. So if I just turn this off for a moment and then take this little tree and move it towards something you can see that it wraps pretty nicely around so another thing i also added is that you can see that the branches end up in a little point now and that's just to make sure that it doesn't end up in a cylinder and it's just a little extra something if i turn this into a straight line just for a moment by setting this branch frequency quite high and, and up this quite a bit then we can see that it now also is able to track around surfaces like a cylinder here if I drag this over to the spheres here it should also be able to track around this one you also see that it's actually able to track all the way around two spheres here in this case since they are close enough if they end up being too far from each other they, they can't figure out how to jump to the next one but that's something which might come I'm not really sure let me just pull this down a little bit we can better see what is going on If I add a little, little, just a tiny rotation to the x-axis, then we can see it's going to create something like, like this. I put it at a certain angle. It is kind of interesting sometimes. I don't know what I would use this for, but still, it's kind of funny. And then I also added leaves. So the leaves are actually coming from a different blueprint. I just borrowed them. Um, in this case, came from a guy called ULLS, which some time ago posted this ivy here. So what I did was to borrow one of the, the branches from this one and used here. And that's actually also the material I used for the, the stem, as we can see here. So what I did was actually just to pull just one oops, little branch out with five leaves and then if I turn on the leaves density to one, you can see now it grows leaves at every segment. So I can set this to something lower. And then it's not gonna grow all the all the time. So something you can play around with, I guess. So right now it looks kind of weird because they have the the same look, all of them. So you can do a few things. I haven't really done too much of it, but you can choose different uh, instant static meshes, which I use for this. Uh, so basically have a have an array of different leaves to use here or what I did was to add a rotation or a randomness so if I add let's just say 20 and it starts looking like this <clears throat> 
still looks a little bit weird, but it's looking a little bit more organic now. And also if we turn this into a tree, let's move it over here. And we actually get a little ivy tree. So while this might not be something you see in nature, it's uh, it's kind of a nice way of generating something out of already existing stuff. And this guy here also obviously wraps around stuff like this cylinder here. Alright, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and find this interesting. Let me know if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. So, for now, bye bye.